VOD viewers. It's time. It's happening. Hold on. I'm not even ready. I just launched the stream. We're not prepared in the least. I have to get everything ready. I have to go get a drink, but I'm, I'm launching it. We're getting ready. I have to make the announcement. Um, I'm just 100% confirm the patches. Okay, it's actually happening, I think. We got stuff happening. I don't know. I don't know what's here, but things are happening. Uh, okay, my Dota is updating. Okay, step by step. Breathe in first. Let's get some lo-fi tunes going. Where the heck is it? Spotify, here we go. Okay. Music going. Next, I need to get uh, patch notes up, which is currently updating on the client. Um, but we can look at the, <clears throat> the internet uh, post, web post, whatever, <laughs> the internet. Uh, where is it? Where do I have the, the tag? What's the tag? Where are we at? Bop, 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 bop. What song is this? I don't know. I don't recognize this at all. It's here, guys. It's happening. Actually, let me shift things around just a little bit. You can do the larger camera, too. Move myself to the corner. All right. What else do I need? Are we ready to actually start reading through things? I was literally in the middle of coaching someone. <laughs> we kind of knew the, the patch might happen, but we were talking about like overarching stuff anyways. Um, but literally we were like in the middle of this, like I think it dropped. It just stopped early. Um, <clears throat> let me go, uh, let me get the water. We'll be, we'll be good to go from there. Everyone get in here, get ready. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Hey, Cosmic, what's up, man? Are you ready? I'm shaking, guys. I'm so excited. All right. <clears throat> Crownfall. Welcome to Crownfall. Let's set the mood, guys. Last year, they canceled Battle Pass. They said they were going to work on other things. We got some cool updates since then, some behavior score stuff, like new armory profile stuff. Like there was cool stuff content wise, though. Like I feel like the patches were good, but a lot of people missed the game modes. They missed like the bigger crazy patches, even though I think the like the gameplay itself, the meta of like normal Dota was fine. It was good. But I feel like we all wanted something bigger. Is this it? Because like we are well over a year of them saying like it's gonna happen, all this stuff. 
what are we, what are we getting? Like, I don't even know if this is the full patch or what, but uh, let's see. Crownfall. We got a very nice graphic here. Uh, for over a decade now, Skywrath Mage and Vengeful Spirit have been ambiguously entwined. Eagle-eyed players notice that they come from the same town, seem to have related backstories, and might even be dating. Pretty mysterious stuff. Earlier, we dropped a comic uh, that solved those mysteries. I didn't watch that on stream, but uh, um, it was uh, it was cool. It was short. Uh, but introduced an even bigger one. Why are you posing comics instead of updates? We can now reveal the answer because we've just released The Markets of Midgate, the first act of an ongoing story event called Crownfall, filled with legendary heroes and unique rewards. In this act alone, you can expect dozens of new cosmetic sets, pog, taunts, hell yeah, creeps. I actually personally don't care about creeps. I like the default ones, and I get distracted when they do other things. But for those of you that like it, nice. Emoticons, underutilized in Dota, I feel like, but happy to have stuff. Are we forgetting anything? Oh, right. And two brand new Arcana, one for each of Crownfall's main characters. Who could it be? I think Sniper's probably one of them. What is Crownfall? It's something completely new that we've wanted to try for a while. And when we say new, we mean new, a new way of telling stories, offering rewards, and making it more fun to win every game of Dota. God, please don't tell me this is just regular Dota with extra stuff added in. And it's available right now to all Dota players for free. Am I showing the right stuff? I am. Okay. Honestly, it's a little hard to describe in a tiny blog post, but luckily the, the description is exactly website size. So go read the details here, or if you'd rather just play instead of hearing us describe it, boot up the game and enter the world of Crownfall yourself. Let me just double check. I have it updating. Okay. Dota's ready to launch, but let's finish reading the web post first. All right. Do I have this the correct size? No. Let me shrink this a little. This is not the right tune. What are we... Are we on the right playlist? Oh, we're not. No wonder why. I was like, no wonder why I don't recognize this stuff. It was my Discover Weekly. These are still not really the right vibes. We need something more excited, more hype. Whatever. I can't be bothered to look. Okay. Crownfall. Let's appreciate the graphic a little longer, actually. It's quite nice. Okay. I like this little floating feather. It's sick. Okay. Play Dota to unlock exotic locations, new characters, and dark secrets in an ongoing story event filled with legendary heroes and unique rewards available now to all Dota players for free. You have to be a Dota 2 player, otherwise you gotta pay. Reclaim the throne. Shendelzer, Shen, Shendelzare, Shen, 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 Shendelzare. I don't know, guys. The rightful queen of Skyrath has been brutally deposed by her sister, Imperia. This is Vengeful Spirit, by the way. This is her name. I just never know how to pronounce it. Uh, this is Vengeful Spirit. Uh, not a playable character at this moment. Maybe it is now. Imperia. As a new, as a member of Imperia's elite mage guard, Dragonus, that's Skyrath mage, powers and life were at her mercy. Now, with the help of the goddess Screoc, uh, this is the guy Dragonus is always like, uh, Skyrath is always like talking about, or sorry, Venge is talking about in her like taunts and stuff, I think, uh, her voice lines. Uh, both have been given new powers and a last chance to get their revenge and the throne. Clown music? Oh my god, you're right. You're right. Holy shit. I just looked up circus music. Thank you. Brilliant. Nature's Path. That is perfect. All right. Catch up on the backstory, read the comic. I already read the comic myself. Uh, you guys, I, I don't think we'll check it out here. It's, uh, should I spoil it for you guys? I can tell you what it is, but never mind. Let's, let's, let's just move on. You guys can read the comic if you want. It's, it's cool. Uh, when Valve does comics and stuff, it's usually fun. Okay, hold on. Stay hydrated. Okay. Adventure awaits! Guide Shen and Dragonus through the busy streets of Skyrath in their quest to take back the throne. Interact with a cast of new characters and old favorites. Uncover dark secrets. Go on outrageous side quests and occasionally even do a little... Yes! This is it, guys! Fishing is in the game! Clown music up.
This is all we've ever needed. Dota is saved, guys. This is the year. I'm gonna hit 8K. It's not even. It's it's fishing in the the, the 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 whatever the adventure mode. It's not even the real game. It doesn't matter. Zach to 8K this year. Oh my God. I don't need to read anything else, guys. We're done. That's actually that's the highlights. Nothing can top this. This there can't be anything better. Okay, let's continue. What else? Why is my microphone making so much extra noise? Does it sound fine to you guys? I feel like it's doing some extra stuff. Maybe I'm shaking the table a little bit. Mic sounds fine. Okay. Where's my Final Fantasy content? Oh yeah, my bad. Let me switch. Okay. Uh, gain more rewards the deeper you delve into a detailed interactive world map. Yo, look at this. Sh okay, hold on. It doesn't quite fit. Let me let me shrink this down a little for you guys. Like, damn, look at this. Whoa, how does it go? What is this? Are we trading dogs? Horses for birds? Oh my god, look, the fish, the little tide under fish. <gasps> Fishing! It's in game. Guys, this is it. Dota has surpassed League. We've done it officially. I mean, always in our hearts, you know, but officially, the best, the best game. Un undeniably explore playing games of dota during the crown fall event will earn you tokens playing as different heroes will earn you different types of tokens uh different token types unlock use tokens to unlock paths through the overworld map progressing the story and earning rewards look out for special encounters like the token trader and the candy works caravan i'm still way too excited about fishing guys who's that thank you whoa, i need whoa. a moment Woot fishing Woot fishing. We go hard on Earth. Thank you so much. Avenge. Collect treasures, candy, crownfall coins, and more as you battle to dethrone the evil Queen Imperia. Rewards. Treasures. Act 1 features two different treasure chests, totaling 24 new item sets. You'll be playing to unlock some of the sets just by playing. Uh, candy sacks. Find Sithil and Quartz Candy Works Caravan on each Crownfall map to upgrade it and exchange your candy for hero sets, couriers, wards, and more. There's even a rare chance at Arcana. With my luck, I'll get another Techies one. Crownfall coins. Oh my god. I just real- Guys, I'm sorry. Take us out of the hype for a moment. I bought this new cord for my headphones because the last one broke and I could only hear out of one noise. Uh, it's like braided, but I'm, I'm just noticing there's like some that are broken and it's kind of like spiky along the thing. And I'm not sure if it's poor quality product or if my cats did this. All right, whatever. Back to the hype of fishing. Crownfall coins. Earn Crownfall coins by exploring different paths on the map. Collect 10 coins to trade them into the Crownfall store for an approximate $7.99 discount on any item costing $7.99 or more. Exact discounts varies by region and currency. Is this a joke? Is it free? Or is it like $7.99 or more? No, I guess it's just a discount. Interesting. Okay, we'll see what's on the Crownfall store later. And that's not all. Unveil all new loading screens. Express yourself with emoticons, sprays, and new chat wheel lines. Deck out your heroes with unique items, item sets found along the story path, and even more, there's a whole world waiting for you to explore. Midgate Pathfinder Pack. All of the rewards in Crownfall's main story path will be available to all players for free. Free! But for seasoned adventurers, I guess, yeah, okay. For seasoned adventurers who'd like to delve a little deeper into Act One, the Midgate Pathfinder Pack offers more map exploration, more stories, and more rewards. Purchasing the pack unlocks side quests and special rewards on the map. In addition to the rewards available on the free path, the Pathfinder Pack also grants additional treasures. Crownfall creeps, immortal and completion items, extra crownfall coins that can be used to save on store items and more. So 
So the main story is free, but the extras are 15 bucks. I guess I'm okay with that. I guess it depends how much is main story versus extra. If they locked a lot of stuff behind the $15, it's going to feel like a little iffy, but I'm not, I don't know how much, right? So we'll have to see. Um, maybe, I, I'll also have to see, part of me is like, we're content creators, we'll buy it probably, right? But at the same time, I also want to know what, like what's just for free so I can help make it clear if it's worth it or not. All right, Arcana. The dying goddess Skriok has endowed Vengeful Spirit and Skywrath Mage with the last of her powers. With a price, they must use her dark magic to topple the treacherous queen of Skywrath. All right, so first we have uh, Skywrath Mage. He's slightly cut off. Here, I'll shrink it just a little bit more. So Skywrath is now blue. The Devotions of Dragonus. Model and Pedestal. Dragonus has earned an all-new model with a full item set befitting his true loyalties as well as a new pedestal and unlockable alternate style. Custom animations and effects, uh, blah, 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 blah. There's stuff there here. Okay, okay, okay. It's $35. So what does that put us at? 15 plus 35. $50 currently. Okay, what else? Is Vengeful Spirits another $35, I guess? Ooh, so now we can see some of the stuff. So this is him going to be moving around. This is him going to be using spells on you in the laning stage. Were you having fun over there, Slark? Stop having fun. Die. What else we got? Seal. These spells are very Abaddon colors. Oh, he's got a custom Ato set. I didn't even notice that. Oh, nice question mark. Let's go. All right, what's the alternate style? Ah, we're back to reddish color. Complete the main quest in Act 4 to unlock alternate Skywrath Mage. Are we are all of them released or are we just in Act 1? The Resurrection of Shen. Model and Pedestal. Shendelzer. Shendelzar. Shendel. Shendelzer has regained her wings, granting an all-new model with the full item set worthy of Skyrathian royalty, including a new pedestal and two unlockable alternate styles. Another $35. All right, here's her in blue. Here's her in human colors, or I guess Skywrath colors. Get stunned, nerd. Get W, nerd. Get swapped, nerd. Dude, I'm never gonna recognize her. She flies now. Oh my god! What is this? Her agonums changes. Oh my god, guys, that illusion was absolutely sick. I wish we could go back and like pause on that. That was the sickest illusion I've ever seen. <gasps> that means we bumped up the illusion models by one. There's already like seven different illusions in the game. Uh, styles of illusions. Are we going to play through this whole thing again just to see that illusion? I think we will. Nah, I'm bored. Ooh, Alternate Zach, style. Thank you. Act four. I'm so Ten sorry, Zach. It's all downhill from fishing. <laughs> That's okay. Fishing was a really high point. Okay, we'll see. We'll see from there. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Uh, complete the main quest in Act 4 to unlock the first alternate style. Complete all main quests and all side quests in Crownfall to unlock the second alternate style. Okay. Treasures! All new item sets for some of your favorite heroes, including rare sets for Wraith King, Crystal Maiden, Hoodwink, and more. Meepo and Drow Ranger sets come with custom taunts. Oh, nice. Uh, so some of the treasures we got. Hmm. Even on my screen, this is not... Am I zoomed in or something? All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so it's a little easier to see for all of us. All right, so what is this? Legion Commander? Can I move her around? No, I guess we're on a web page. Okay. Um, let me, like, shift this up a little bit. Drow. Raven Cloak. Very rare. A Bloodseeker set. Zeus. Zeus. 
<laughs> it's a pretty good Mevo set. Too bad he just missed the patch of Mevo being absolutely broken. Who the hell are you? Silencer? Why are we giving him wings? This is going to be so confusing. Why does he have wings? Why do they all have wings? Owly bear. Everyone's getting wings. I'm too old for this. I can't handle this. We got Wraith King with fancy armor. And we got Nature-y Wraith King. Nature's Prophet? Hoodwink? I didn't even recognize it for a second. Omni Knight? He's wearing a Helm of the Iron Will. Mm, fun courier. Okay. Zoom back in. Okay. Uh, the story unfolds. Can I zoom in further? Nah. Okay. The story unfolds. The markets of Midgate is just the first act of an ongoing four-act narrative that will span the next few months. You'll be able to play through new acts as soon as they become available, but you can also move through the adventure at your own pace. The introduction of a new act won't close off an earlier one. Which means you can take as long as you like exploring every possible path, challenge, and secret in Act 1. And as much as there is to find, this event's just getting started. Crownfall will keep expanding as it unfolds over the coming months, with each new act bringing its own story, characters, and a unique overworld map and all new rewards. There might even be a surprise or two along the way. Does the $15 thing, does that apply for all... All of the war awards, but for season adventures, you'd like to into act one. So it's $60. It sounds like this only applies to act one, which means acts two, three, and four probably all also have their own $15. Hmm. That's a full game. That is a full game. What are we unlocking? Does it compare to buying Elden Ring? All right, so markets of Midgard or Midgate play now. The deserts of Drood unlocks mid May. Oh God, we're gonna do this again next May. <laughs> when is mid May? The the frosts of Ice Rack. Oh, we're actually going there. Sick. The spires of Skyrath. Okay, okay. So that's that. Let's open the client. So are we able to play right now? I'm launching Dota, guys. One second. It's freezing up. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, I accidentally skipped the opening scene. Oh, we got this anyways. Let me hide my camera for a moment. Turn off the clown music for a second. Crown fall. Is this a fish? Oh no, it's a crown. I see, I see. It would be cooler if it was a fish. Put the camera back on. Um, I'm usually somewhere roughly here, aren't I? Whatever, we'll sort it out when we open up a game. Crownfall. All right, what do we got? Crownfall. Take flight with Skyrath Mage and Ventral Spirit on a multi-month interactive adventure. Read comic, watch intro, visit website. Was the intro just what we saw? Ah, oh, just the exact same thing. All right. Pretty brief intro. Is this worthy of uh, having its own dedicated rewatch button? Welcome to Crownfall. Is this what I read earlier? Looks like it. Okay. So, how to play. Oh, we got some fun music here. Can you guys hear it? Okay, you can, cool. 
I'm going to have to turn up the music for a second. How to play. Explore. Playing games of Dota during the Crownfall event will earn you tokens. Playing as different heroes will earn you different token types. Unlock. Use tokens to unlock paths around the overworld map, progressing the story and earning rewards. Look out for special encounters like the Token Trader and the Candy Works Caravan. Avenge. Collect treasures, candy, crownfall coins, and more as you battle to dethrone the evil Queen Imperia. A story so far. Uh, Queen Imperia has banned worship of the goddess Skriok, who has given all of her remaining power to Dragonus, Skywrath Mage, and Shen, Vengeful Spirit, to lead a rebellion against the evil Queen. Read the full comic. Again, I, I read it earlier. You guys can read it on your own, or unless you guys really want us to see it read. I think it's okay. Um, next. So what is this? Play games, earn tokens, unlock paths. Earn tokens by playing Dota with different heroes. Use your tokens to unlock different paths. So I kind of have to play different heroes again. Is that how this is? Here's a free nuker token to start your quest. All right. Claim. Earned tokens will appear in your inventory. You can hold extra tokens until you need them. Click here for more information. Okay. So this is what I just read. You need one nuker token. All right, how do I do it? Start. Unlock. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the road to mid gate. I have given you both what is left of my powers. You must overthrow Queen Imperia before I dwindle to nothing. We can't fight my sister with an entire army of Queen's Guard behind her, Skriok. Am I blocking stuff? A little bit. We'll just move here for now. No, Shen. If you truly want to beat Imperia, you must convince the Flightless to fight alongside you. The Flightless? Blech. You must be joking. They're deadlier than you think, Dragonus. Come, I'll explain on the way. Three Crownfall store tokens. So now what? Now I need a flying token. So it's like a board game. This is the Crownfall store. So we have two Arcanas. Packs, which is what? Earn Pathfinder tokens, two side quests, divided they fall, Crownfall treasure, Crownfall treasure two. What are these treasures? Oh, these are the ones we saw earlier. Oh, no, no, these are new. Or maybe I just missed that Crystal Maiden one. No, there's a couple here we didn't see before. Hold on, let's look through the treasures again real quick. Let's absorb all the content that is now added in and then I'll think through it and have my impressions. Um, okay, so we got Bloodseeker. We saw him earlier. Ooh, Jakiro set. Okay. Kind of into it. I don't know what I'd replace, though. Oh, this is a cool Lena set. I like her hair. I like the skirt, too. That's cool. Um, oh, this is a cool mount. Oh, that's actually such a sick mount for Disruptor. The rest of the set's cool, too. Um, little beetle nature's prophet. Too he's no good anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this one? What are my treants? Ah, oh, these are cute. I like these. Okay, legion. Oh, she's not just a statue. She has an eye. Birds. Do those birds, like, fly through the game throughout, like, the entire time? Because that would be pretty funny. Are the birds just always there? <laughs> they look like they're always there. The birds are the best part of this set if they follow you the entire time. Uh, Queen of Pain, she kind of looks like a jester set a bit here. That's what this, like, I, I don't think it actually is, but it gives me that vibe. I don't know. Um, She's got a goblet. Does she throw the goblet? What's her offhand? What's her weapon hand? Oh, I guess it is the uh, the dagger. Throwing the goblet would be funnier. Shadow Shaman, but he's an octopus. What are the wards? Little, like, slug snaky things? 
Okay, I like it. Wraith King. It's like Omni Knight plus Wraith King. What do the boys look like? Do the boys have a skin? Nah, the boys are still just skeletons. What are you? Your silencer with kind of like very winged, winged set. It's very purple, bright purple. At least he's still kind of following his color scheme. Meepo, hilarious. What's the taunt? <laughs> That's pretty good, guys. It's pretty good. Come on. Will it be tilting when you're there just trying to play a game, getting smurfed on by a Meepo, and there he is doing this? It's pretty funny. That's five taunt and Meepo. I mean, it's pretty good, I think, as a taunt. All right, Crystal Maiden. Is that a ward in her staff? That's pretty sick. And she's got the big hat after big hat Logan. Pretty good. Oh, this skirt's dope. This is ultra rare. Does she have any, like, specific... The ultimate changes a little bit. Pretty cool. There's an eye here too. I didn't even notice that the eye and the belt buckle. Belt, belt, belt buckle. Pretty cool. And then what else? Roshan courier. Okay. And what? Which treasure is this one? Okay. And then what's this Ooh, one? Who's that? Thank you. Roundfall treasure oh. two. I'm pretty amazed that they didn't drop Ringmaster gameplay updates alongside this. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of realizing that. I'm trying to like finish absorbing everything and then we're going to we're maybe going to talk about that a bit. Uh here's Puck but with some vengeful spirit looking stuffs. And a bug, okay? Uh is this a Skyrath mage? We released a Skyrath mage set plus the arcana. Isn't it kind of funny when they do that? The weird thing is, it's like, oh, I didn't want to pay for the Arcana. So it's like, okay, I kind of get it, right? But you still got to buy the treasure. I mean, I guess you can get some for free from the thing, but. Um... I mean, it's cool. I really like the Scythe. It's a cool set. Tinker! It's a pretty cool Tinker set. Also like it. What else? Pugna? A hat not as big as Big Hat Logan. Purple Pugna. Naga. Oh, with the Koi skin. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like this. Although, there's a Naga skin that is very similar vibe to this. This feels like a better version of the old Naga skin. No offense to whoever made it. But what's the older one? Um, I actually used part of it. This one. Am I just racist? It's like a very similar... It's a similar vibe to me. I don't know. It's an Asian set. It's the same. <laughs> How do I go back to the treasure? Where is it? Uh, this? 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 All right, a little bit of a roundabout way. I like it. It's got all the... It's got all, it's got all the weeb components. You know? Omni Knight. It reminds me. I can't even fully remember what it looked. What they looked like. The Omni Knights in one of the uh, the game modes that just like killed you. The Omni Knight bosses. Oh, Coddle! Look at this rainbow rainbow Griffin set. Some nice wings. I like it. Staff's pretty cool too. Ancient Apparition. When will you come back to the meta? Okay, I can dig it. Uh, we saw this Hoodwink set earlier. Zeus set earlier. He's got some like shiny electronics going on there. The Drow set. What's the Drow taunt? Is <laughs> she shooting apples? Okay. <laughs> That's a fun taunt. Uh, the Owl set and then the same. Same courier. Okay. What the hell's this? Ricky has a unique item only from this thing for tricks of the trade. All right, sure. What do I get for this? You pay 15 bucks. 
you get the tokens, you get some side quests, which give you three treasures, which would have been what? 750 if you bought them. And then whatever this item maybe ends up being worth. And then whatever the hell this stuff is. 799. You do get a discount on stuff. Do the Arcanas, can the Arcanas be applied here? Okay. How do I get the Crownfall store token coins? And it's a one time. So like this is only, only 750 if I get three tokens. And this is another like $15 saved if you get both Arcanas. But how do you get those? Oh, and apparently you can buy this bundle which I guess could maybe be free with 10 tokens, which is what? 30 caravan candies, this reroll, MMR, oh, MMR double downs back. Oh my God. Hmm. Oh, you can buy a pack for like nine for 20. And then I wonder if you can apply this discount. How do you earn these things again? Until the event ends, blah, blah, blah. In act one, you can earn 15 coins for free and an additional 10 throughout the mid that's 25 coins, but I need 10. So what do the other five do? Do I get more from here? I get another 10 from here. So you get up to 35 coins. Again, what did the other five do? I need 10 for the discount. They carry over to the next map? I guess so. All right, is that it? Candy Caravan isn't available yet. I think that's everything. What's the classic circus song? Oh, who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. You guys know the one that I'm thinking of, right? Mad bro. Hey, thank you so much. Oh, Thanks for gifting five thank subs. Whoa, whoa. Entrance of the gladiators. Oh, who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Who's that? Thank you. Oh, you're right. Invoker set in the labyrinth? What do you mean? Like, there's a set in here? Thank you. Oh, what's this? Who's that? Thank you. Invoker set, word wing exaltation. It's got some wings now. Okay. Same purpley vibe as the other set, so you can maybe mix and match a little bit. All right. So. I don't want to say too much without having done this yet. Act one, you get a invoker set. So there's no game change, which I guess I don't mind. I don't mind staying on 7.35D. There's no ringmaster. Which I guess is fine, but I mean, when's in... When's the next? They announced it in uh, November, right? So we're now five months-ish into it. So we still don't have that. Although maybe Ringmaster will be part of this story and he'll be in a later act or something. So there's that, I guess. Um, this is all cool. 
don't get me wrong. I'm a little... I This feels like a board game. Which is free. But you can also pay $60 for this. Which ultimately comes down again to just playing regular Dota. And it's not really a PvE thing. I mean, it's literally PvE, but like I am the only player. And it's like, it's not like the four, like multiple people playing. I'm super hyped that they added fishing, even though it's like a very minor thing in this, you know? I... I want to not be too critical until like I actually play this because I think all of this is very cool. I just think compared to like a PVE game mode like Silt Breaker and Aghanim's Labyrinth and all of those types, it's uh, it's not quite the same. What I personally was kind of hoping for. I do think this is cool and I think I like this more than like some of the Battle Pass stuff. It also seems like a cool story like put in a fun way. Like I like all of that. Um... But yeah, not really, not exactly what I was uh, hoping slash expecting. I again feel like... Yeah, like I need to see the other acts, I guess, and what they do with it. This is all like very cool. Don't get me wrong. I like a lot of it. The sets look great. All of that stuff. It'll be cool to have more story told in a new way. But I feel like I'm about to just go back to playing Dota. Just like regular Dota, right? We're just back to Dota. Like we're going to go queue all this stuff to earn whatever token for... This market, you get a, what, a flying token? Oh, we can get two flying tokens from certain heroes. Essentially, I'm just going to be back to playing regular Dota, and then I get to unlock a story along the way, which is, like, fun. It's cool. It's cool. But it's not the same as Silt Breaker and Agadon's Labyrinth and stuff. <laughs> It's free. That is the thing. That's a big thing. Let's see. Where is the... Uh, so it said there's like two side quests. Is it this? Pathfinder tokens are part of Midgate Pathfinder pack. So if I buy it, I get access to this, which has what? A treasure with a chest, some tokens and stuff. Are we still on clown music? Hold on, let me go back to our clown music playlist. Oh, silly clown music playlist. Let's try this one. Another treasure. What's this? The pecking post. What's the other side quest stuff? Over here. Does this mean more Final Fantasy VII streams? Um, I mean, I might be working them in faster than I thought. Because I feel like we're now just back to playing Dota, aren't we? It's like not different. And in between it, we're going to, like, get to see cool story stuff. But it's really hard to, like, see a comprehensive story all at once. Like, this is going to be literally months. Because I need, like, what? We got to win a game with a flying hero. We got to... When do I need more after that? I don't know. Does it not show me what I need until as we get there? But, I mean, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Like, I need to win easily over 30 games playing unique heroes or, like, for whatever stuff. I guess in the end, like, 
I like what this stuff is on its own. Okay, actually, it looks like heroes have multiple stuff. So maybe less than that. Because we can just play, like, Jakiro and we can save up. Oh, I can't see it here. Apparently, we can save up, like, a flying token, a fire thing, and I don't know what that last thing is. So I guess it'll be faster than I thought. So, like, compared to the Battle Pass, I kind of like this. That it's free, that it's, like... You're playing Dota, but there's more. But I personally have been really waiting for like a PvE game mode and like something that really mixes up the way we play, which I don't think we've had for a while now. And I think that's the part that's like a bit disappointing. What's IO? What even are these? Walking, running, flying, floating, slithering, mounted, crawling, jumping, Teleporting, melee, range, disabler, escape, durable, initiator, nuker, pusher, healer, pathfinder. And like, I'm still going to keep an open mind for like the next three acts because they could still do cool stuff. And maybe there'll be a game mode like with part of it, especially like the crown fall. The final act could be like a cool time to like, here's the game mode. Um, here's Ringmaster too, by the way. Um, but it, it again feels like, oh, I guess we're waiting to see. Well, I don't know. I guess, are we going to go, are we, we playing Dota? Back to Final Fantasy? <laughs> no, I guess, I mean, I guess we'll play, right? Let's, uh, let's play some Dota. What the... F what are we listening to? This doesn't feel like silly clown music. We'll go back to just clown music. Need to get to the fishing hole and then back to Final Fantasy. All right, there we go. Uh, do we buy the stuff? I guess I don't have to buy it yet anyways. One. Is there any way to earn coins for free without doing this? No, I mean, well, I guess, like, by doing this, you are literally earning coins, potentially. Where? How many, I guess, is uh, the bigger question. Crownfall store token. Okay, so you do get some throughout. And you could... You don't have to buy anything till you get this, I guess. Hmm... I didn't play fishing any of these Final Fantasy ones. Yeah, there's no there's no gameplay patch. Did they say when? I forget. They said mid-May. Was that the next thing? No, that's for Act 2, but not necessarily the next gameplay patch. I guess we are getting to 7.35 E. We've gone to E the last couple times. We, uh, 7.31 was D, but 7.32 went to E, 7.33 went to E, 7.34 went to E. So it looks like we're going to go to 7.35 E. Go to Crownfall, market this. In Act 1, you earn 15 coins for free and additional 10 through the Pathfinder. So it's like 28 coins with the three they gave us.
Am I missing some from somewhere? I guess the candy caravan might also have some cool stuff on it. All right, guys, we'll play a hero. We'll play a couple games in a second. First, I need to fix my camera. Second, do we buy these Arcanas? Are we doing this or are we waiting to get the coins? I feel like we should wait to get to the coins, right? Uh, you guys can see like what I've got queued up, right? I kind of need to shift the camera like to the right as much as I can because sometimes if you play a hero like who's someone we can use. This story is as good as written. All right, kind of blocks, but I think we're in a good spot. I think you can kind of see if I have like the teleport. You maybe can't see the cooldown exactly, but whatever. Well, I could shift it over a little bit more, I guess. Look, now you can kind of tell, right? You can see both best best of both worlds. New HUD? No. Is there? I don't know. All right, guys. I'm like, I'm going to go to the bathroom and then let's play. Let's play a game, I guess. Play some games. Check unavailable weapons. Okay. Give me one second. Uh, I'm going to run the ads while I, I, I'll be right back.
I want a great cheese on Skywrath's abs. Kappa? Why Kappa, though? No Kappa. All right, who's a winged hero? We can play Jakiro or Gyrocopter, I guess. Let's try to unlock a couple things and see see what this is like. Because I want to say... Like, I guess I wanted... PvE, like... Like, uh, Silt Breaker kind of stuff, right? Stepping back from that, what we have now in Crownfall... I'm, like, trying to think of the prices you had to pay for, like, battle passes, right? Which is, if you wanted to unlock everything... It kind of was, like, a hundred dollars. Plus... Yo, pretty good matchmaking. Let's go. Mm. Which this, if you collect the coins, I guess there's a discount. I feel like the reason I'm disappointed a little bit is because I wanted the PvE game mode. But it's not like they ever promised that. And if I think about it, like, in lieu of just, like, we're adding this in, it's cool to have, right? Now I'm still playing Dota like I was before, but I there's also, like, cool story stuff going on. Um, possibly unlocking stuff, fun minigames, right? It's, like, fun to have. Mm. I like the fact that different heroes have multiple tokens means that what are these numbers by us were there levels in the thing we just did can I sort by needing a flying hero This is a first for us. People talk about YouTube videos and it's not about me. That sounded like super arrogant, but like, you know what I mean? Where is it? Where are these tokens? I didn't take guild contracts. Can I go back? Below complex. Oh my god. What the hell is this? It's so hidden. Thank you. Okay, it's what? Me and, Jag uh, me and Juggernaut versus... Um... I don't know, offlane Venno and Skywrath or something? If it's Skywrath, I kind of want this magic stick, but it's not that useful versus uh, Venomancer. I think I skip it for now. <clears throat> Shall we? After you. Better get ready. Is my guy not buying the other blood grenade? 
All right, I got to move out. So let's move and we'll see if he buys it. Because if he doesn't, I'm going to buy it. I feel a lot of it. I don't know if I want to double down. Or I mean predict. All right, he didn't buy it. I'm buying it. Is my ship bugged? I don't see a double down. Hmm. Of course. 30 seconds to show heck? Time. We predict now? Lol. How come these aren't stacking? Oh, there we go. I wish I didn't bought two, actually. That sucks. I have both observers? Why do I have both observers? What the hell? Did I misclick? I must have. No disruptor, right? What in the hell? Looks like we actually very much need the stick, guys. We're gonna lose that sentry, like, right away. Yeah, but I had to block the camp. That sucks. I want to block this camp, even though I know we're pushed up and I could maybe use it. I can't see who's talking. I don't know if that's a bug or what. He's gonna have raises again soon. <laughs> this lane is so messy, but it's kind of working out. I can't believe we have offlane Skywrath here for support. Good 
TP, TP, TP. Just, he has 12 sticks. You can't kill him. Ooh, good dodge. I'm gonna get an early fluffy hat, guys. Am I TPing back top? I think I am. I should have stacked that. I messed that up a lot, guys. I meant to, uh... I meant to stack and pull and all this shit, but I did not. I did nothing instead. Full mana, but I'm kind of low. Seven minute run. Early fluffy hat and all the stuff kept us alive. I kind of wish I'd stayed on the map, but I got boots so I could be faster. Maybe I can now TP to Phil's bottle. Ah, he doesn't need it. Never mind. And then Jug seems uh, mad at us. But I'm not going to worry about it. I think you killed mid with a solar and storm. Ganking Shadow Fiend here. I 
wonder if there's an observer already here, sentry, I mean. Actually, he's not bad. I guess Seeds of Serenity would be good to have. Killing Venom. Who made again? Hmm. There's a part of me that wants arcane boots and a part of me that needs tranquils. I'm pretty torn here. I'll TP me when I heal. I think I'm supposed to get arcanes for my team. Probably he's dead. No, it's dead. Hmm, I think I should have TP'd. I was, uh, I'm being out of it. It's so weird, doesn't put at all. Careful top. Wanna to fight top? You need to take bottom. If they dive him, they can down out in TP. I miss the uh, banner creep, which sucks. Keep looking top, he's gonna get dove. I want to try to place a deep ward before I go. That was a disaster. Blood grenade to speed it up. Push it 
Ugh, I'm not waiting around. Actually, I am waiting around. Venno was the hard carry? What's going on? I didn't even realize. I didn't even piece that together, guys. Maybe I should just be getting Glimmer. You're too far, bro. Maybe four staff is better. I already have the the fluffy hat, so I think I will get Lotus. Or sorry, uh, four staff first. You don't want to go top. Take take bottom. Can you believe this was ideal? Ideal behavior score, ideal all of that? Like, what's going on? Yeah, behavior score sucks the way it works. Oh, okay, sucks is extreme, but it's not harsh enough. I hate to be that guy, the like iron fist of justice, whatever, but like it's not. Oops, sorry. Oh, never mind. I intentional pause. He's not back, right? Did they buff Vengeance Sky? Arcanus came out for them. There's no gameplay change. There's nothing changed. It's the exact same Dota, but now there's a story uh, offline. After four staff, I'm thinking about getting a gem. It's a little greedy, a little dangerous, but it could be pretty good to, uh... We have 200 attack range. It will help to kill. It will help to kill uh, the wards. 
Help me apply my three points in liquid fire. That's why I'm worried about getting a jam, guys. I think maybe we don't. Smoke, they smoked. They just smoked here. Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice that. What is all right, there's apparently not a lot of clown music available, guys. Let's just go back to lo fi streams. I think we're setting up to push high ground. I'm not really sure if we should be. But I'm here with the team. We're gonna look. I'm still getting glimmer. Do they know he's there? Ooh, Grove Bow, heck yeah. You have shard on that. I should have gotten Eye of the Vizier to be honest, guys, but can't help myself. I also think our tower damage is going to be like kind of dicey, so. Well, I guess with a jug it can't be that bad. Okay. I shouldn't have used that dual breath, it's a waste of mana. Lol. Oh, 
Tarek. Oh. oh my god, straight up dead. Hmm. See, this is where I kind of want like the drums of endurance to deal with these slows. Oh my jug trolling or what? Hello? What the fuck is this, guys? That was so bad. Uh, Jug is just straight up fucking running up into fire. Right? <laughs> we can't yeah, kill this guy, this go find this guy, MK. I feel like it's either drums of endurance or... I don't have detection? Oh my god. Ducks. Oh well. Jug, you go through portal. Mm. I gotta go place the ward. trap they're not gonna know or they're not gonna do anything about it I guess I'll get this I'm <laughs> pretty undecisive on that though Dude. He's gonna come back top for sure. Did you need farm or? with our jug. I used Ice Path early and the cooldown was so long. <laughs> uh, 
Alright, uh, my bad, I'm okay. can go in. Go up, heal up and go in. Lol. Whoever was with him did not want to come. Hmm, what do I want? I'm gonna max ice path first. I think I buy this gem from map control. And what do I buy from there? And then I do it myself. Ah, oh, psychic headband, that's pretty good. CP. Oh my goodness. Am I going to get hit by something random? I thought I might still get hit. We're going to wait here for a bit. We lack something. <laughs> coordination <laughs> have I missed any hot takes I think the hot take is that this in itself is a very cool addition and it's fun and a lot of it is free I think a lot of people were just expecting more which isn't strictly Valve's fault, and but also the fact that they don't communicate extremely clearly kind of is. I, have, uh, have I think the hot them. take is that like, it's actually cool if you weren't expecting other stuff. <laughs> We 
where Io tried to save whoever. Oh, I got that. Nice. She's gonna get health. Was a Roche timer? I think I'm gonna go Ags, guys. Push. <clears throat> Let's push. Play with John. I was not ready for that. I could have done a lot more. Gems here. I feel like we're incapable of playing together. There's like two separate plays going on right there. Let's see if we can get the gem back. They didn't notice right away. It's insane to me how Jug dies without using Omni. It's in a pretty obvious spot though. God damn. Aw. The fact that in the end, the event still boils down to like playing regular Dota and regular Dota didn't really change. Like it wasn't even like this plus patch, right? Which I think would feel a lot better. It's like same patch, which granted 7.35D is not that old. So it's like, I get why it's not patched, but it does just feel weird that it's like, oh, we're still, we're still just playing Dota, which I mean, I know it's Dota, but like, you know, which I think partly the community is also at fault because it everyone builds it up bigger than like Valve has strictly said it would be. But that's off of like Valve's vague communication, which naturally people are then just like, oh, it could be anything. It could be fishing. You know? All right, well, if we initiated and pushed where like vision was set up and where the supports were, like we'd have it. I don't, I don't even know who he's complaining about, but like, that's all I'm saying, guys. Like I had the detection, I had a gem and then I'm here and they're going here. So like, you know, just a thought. One bottle. Ready, good. Mm. Bad bitch. Drug, drug, drug. I don't know why I didn't dual breath her sooner. I missed what happened, I was just coming in.
also has Omni. Gonna try to win off this. Yeah, I hope not. I kind of want an Aghanims, but I don't think it's the purchase, guys. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go straight hex. Well, actually, what I'm buying is gem. Uh, maybe I should just buy Ghost Scepter since we're getting wrecked by the uh, TA. Although at this point, like nullifiers aren't that far from coming out. I feel like. Second gem. Maybe just Greaves. Greaves is slot efficient. But I can replace the wand. It's not like a huge deal. Feels Maybe weird to get like a 40 minute gem though, or 40 minute greaves. Ooh, these are both good. What do I want? I think I want Trickster Cloak. Are we defending this area? We better be. It's it's really a long time. Three minutes? I don't know. I feel like we're gonna throw. We can say we're not waiting for Roche, but ultimately I think we are. Like What is this like super dive into Bro this jug is so trash. Holy fuck. <sighs> Aw. We're gonna lose a second gem? Maybe they don't see it. He knows it's there. He's looking. Guys, let's go. They're looking for it. Damn it, Io found it. All right, there goes another gem. Yeah.
He was already rude to us in the lane, let alone now being quite rude. Think about getting a Wind Waker. But I don't know if it's like the kind of save I like need to have. Anyways, I mean, the initiations from my team so far are, like, real weird. Over here. We're set up here. They initiate here. This time, there's, like, 50 Plague Wards here, and they're just like, yeah, just go. Right, what the heck? And then he's upset. Upset we're not under the tower with him. Maybe I should just get the eggs. We haven't smoked for, like, a while, ever. Well, can go cast here. Yeah, no BKB. I might grief with the Wind Waker though, because of the juggle. Super hard. Time to dive and throw again. the megas guys oh, I guess I should have stunned sooner GG, I guess. Team's kind of toxic. And I couldn't ever tell who was talking. It wasn't showing, so I couldn't see who. Thought we are going to found dive? Definitely. It was, uh, that was messy. Very, very messy. Good news though, we got our flying icon token. Now we can progress the story a little bit and see. Jug was unhappy with us in his 5.5k lane and his 3.5 enemy off lane. It's because earlier he wanted like more aggression on the Skywrath, but there's like. I don't know. I'm not some like infinite void of mana and stuff. I think I could have done it better, but it was already going well and he's still like getting angry. How bad were those throws? Let's see. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at this. It's because they... I mean, obviously it seems dumb, right? Hard carry... Uh, Venno, four support, SF, offlane sky. So they're like tilted AF, and our team's like not taking it seriously. So like it goes up and down like that a bit. Do you still get tokens when you lose? Oh, I have no idea. I'm gonna guess no. You probably need to win. All right, let's see what this is. Screoc, 
We can't beat Imperia with cooks and gardeners. We need warriors to win. The flightless might look helpless, Dragonus, but their hatred of Imperia rivals even yours. We hate Imperia. For years now, an army of warrior monks has trained in secret, growing in power and number. They are called the Khazari, and they have but one purpose. To end Imperia's reign. And would they accept me on the throne as her successor? No! <laughs> They mistrust all topsiders, and with good reason. We'll need to convince the Khazari you're worthy of the throne. Do you see that pair of eyes? Someone's watching us. Mm, is it the Khazari? Threebeard the Hermit. Sorry if I scared you, my name is Threebeard. I live in this cave. Wait, hold on, what? Oh, this is actually music from Dota, okay. Wait. What's this? It can't be! Are you the goddess Screeok? I used to be your biggest worshipper. Heh heh heh. Yes, my disciple. It is I, the great Screeok. Why is it sometimes we just click here and now I have to like click up here? I thought you were dead. Are you alright? You look horrible. Dot 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 dot. Please, dying one. Take these small tokens of my devotion. <gasps> nice. Walking, flying, floating. Take tokens. So, would the three of you like to see my cave? It's very dark and cold. I hate it. Hmm, yes, that does sound inviting. Maybe another time. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Replay dialogue. Replay dialogue. I see. So, someone will eventually grind it all out and do a video of all this stuff so that y'all don't have to. And then you don't, you don't really have to buy this like side story stuff either because it'll just be shown to you. What do we need now? We need a melee token and a durable token. Do we have that? No, neither. Oh, I see it highlights what I need down here. Who's melee durable? This is not every single melee hero though. Isn't it kind of wacky that, well, I guess you would end up with so many melee versus range tokens more than you need, but isn't it funny that only like a fraction of the heroes have melee or ranged and yet they are all melee or ranged. And also, of all the heroes they could pick, why did they pick some of the controversial ones? Like, Terrorblade and Troll? Oh, actually, they have melee and ranged. Okay, I'm okay with that. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. I was going to say, like, of all melee heroes you could pick, why did you pick two that have transformations into ranged forms? But it's because they get both. Nifty. I like that Terrorblade is walking. That's very apt. And he's running. Lol. All right, who's durable? Is it just Abaddon who overlaps here? We'd have to play an Abaddon game. Not interested. You win a, you won a turbo game and it looks like you get two thirds of the tokens. Ogre's in here for both. Oh, you're right. I don't really want to play Ogre either though. Wait, is there an easier way to do this? Can I like, oh, I don't see it here. Oh no, here, tokens. Highlight and show tokens for heroes that unlock the active paths on your crown fall. Okay, there's, there we go. Who's melee durable? We could play a Sven game. Sven, Ogre, Abaddon. I guess that's it. But it doesn't really matter like we we're gonna need all sorts of tokens so we don't really need to focus on this right now and because they save so this is the nice thing compared to crownfall or uh what's it called uh blah, 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 blah. Mm.
cavern crawl like cavern crawl you had to play whatever hero like you had to play venge here and oh venge was banned so i guess i played a treant game and then you finish venge and it's like hot treant game you're like right but now since you just earn and stockpile tokens looks like you'll get it and at some point like in i could just wait and then just we just go because we have all the tokens You click some stuff on the map for cute animations. Ooh, let's try. Here's one. <laughs> Little fishy. Like, this kind of stuff is nice, right? Like, that, right? As a whole, this is this is all very cool. It just isn't a PvE game mode. Do I even make a video? I feel like I should. Oh, nice. Mango's here. But there's, like, no gameplay. <laughs> there's, like, nothing I actually need to talk about. You get one of the three tokens at random? You mean if you lose? Or just, like, every time? I, I thought I just got... I got three tokens for winning. You could get the one you want on a loss. Oh, you get one on a loss. I see. Did you click the clock tower? No, no. <gasps> a chicken! Fantastic. Oh, you don't even need to... Uh... Oh, maybe that was just coincidence. I was hovering over it when I did it again, but I guess it was just... Took some time. Okay. I think there's some great things here. I just need to like get over the fact that I wanted PVE and this is not PVE and that has me a bit disappointed. But that this as a whole is fine and good. I think it's a good addition to Dota. It's also like a 4 month addition to Dota. So more could be coming. I'm debating if we even play more right now. Like, I don't usually stream on Thursdays, but, like, obviously a patch came out, so, like, we whipped up the stream. And yet... Is this a patch? Is this a patch, guys? <laughs> it's like a battle pass. Hmm, can we see... Do people have already, like... Yeah, people are working on the stuffs already. View Arcana. All right, so let's work out. I want to check. How many tokens can you get? It says 15 from this map. And then 10 if you buy the $15 thing. Along with the treasures. Or along with the Arcanas, I mean. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Some different styles for this invoker set. Make a video on fishing. Oh, I do want to see the Venge Arcana, actually. We saw in the... Uh, the thingamajig that it had uh, the illusion, which looked absolutely sick. Yo, Deity Link, I started to play uh, Age of Empires 2 again a little bit. It's fun. It's just like relaxed. Is there an effect for this? I don't remember. It doesn't look like it. Oh, I wasn't even listening to the voice. It is a different voice. Okay, where's the ags? 
The Ags is a cool, cool icon for the Ags. No, stop shooting me. What? Ah, uh, my death timer is too short in demo mode. It's a sick looking illusion though. <laughs> there it goes. No, stop shooting. Ah, uh, it's because it reselects my thing. <laughs> it's impossible, guys. We'd have to go into the normal thing. Um. Okay, mathematically, how much money would you have to spend to get all this? So, let's say you complete all of this, you get the 15 free... 15 free coins. You use the 15 free coins to get $7.99 off of this Pathfinder pack. So you get it for seven bucks. For seven bucks, hold on, wait. Let me make sure I'm not forgetting things. Let me, do I have a pen here? Does pen still work? It do. All right, so 10 of the free tokens. So we, we were given three. There's 15. Why did we get three again, actually? It was for starting, right? Or is this three included in the first 15? It might be included in the first 15, actually. For some reason, I was thinking it was like we got it for free, but I think we literally got it here. Yeah. Okay, so we get 25, or we have 15 coins. You use it to save eight bucks. So you spend seven bucks on the pack. The pack gives you 10 more coins. You buy an Arcana, let's say, for what is it, 35 bucks? Um, okay, so then you spend 27. Then you have five coins left over, which you cannot spend. Oh, I like this much more. It's like the original colors. Oh, you can be Queen Imperia. Okay, that's kind of cool. So Imperia is like added to the game. Wow, can you believe Queen Imperia looks so much like, like vengeful spirit what are the odds what are the odds then you have five coins left over which hopefully carry over to future acts and then you have to spend another 35 bucks so in total you just you save 16 dollars with the coins Yeah, kind of like as if they were sisters. It's wild. What else could you... Is there any other way to get coins? The bundle. No. There might be more in the... Okay, hold on. Where is this candy thing? Candy caravan. Where is that on this map? Because I kind of want to know more about it. Are you the candy caravan? No, you're the token trader. Are you the candy caravan? Yes. Uh, I don't know if we could unlock that right now. We'd have to go boop, 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 boop. It's kind of far. The candy caravan might have more value to this. I'm kind of hesitant to like make a video on this without understanding what the carry candy caravan is. You can trade in your candy for a variety of items, treasures, and if you're lucky, even arcanas. At the same time, I feel like if I was going to make a video, it needs to be tonight. Hmm. 
I'm going to assume there's no more coins and that you get 25 coins total and hopefully they, they carry over. Crown Fall store coins. I assume they carry over. So uh, what's it end up being in total? If you just pay up front, it's uh, 70 plus 15, right? 70 plus 15, so 85 bucks. And then if you want to get this bundle, which doesn't have anything critical in it, I feel like. Pay to win MMR, double down tokens maybe. Treasures, which are fairly optional, although there are some pretty good ones. How many treasures do you get for free from this stuff? Um, two? Two for free. Where are they? One here, the blue one, and one here, the red one. So you get one of each for free. If you want more, which odds are, if you're a collector, you want the whole set. And if you're a Dota player, you like collecting your hats. Purchase nine. Are there nine sets in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight for the red one with then like the rare and all that. And then the blue is what? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, so why is it? But the bundle is nine, so you get one repeat. Because it works out to a nice $20. But you do, you save a little bit, don't you? Oh, you do save. Because if you bought each one individually, it would be two. It would be twenty-two forty-one. So you save like two and a half dollars by buying nine. But you don't even need nine. Because if you get one for free from the set, if you get one for free, one of each for free plus you buy the pack, which then gives you a couple more. You actually don't need nine. You have to buy individually, but then it feels weird. So it's either like another $40 if you just buy both bundles to just be like done with it, or you get two red ones. So you would need to, you would need to buy five more red ones and what, six more blue ones? Which if you just buy individually would be $27-ish. Hmm. Yeah, I... <clears throat> In the end, a lot of this, this is like cosmetics with fun, which I don't mind. Battle Pass was also kind of cosmetics, but if you only wanted certain things, you essentially had to pay for all of it and then get things you didn't care for. Say you're only interested in Vengeful Spirit instead of Skyrath. Battle Pass, you had to spend like 150 to get all this stuff, to get team stuff, all this stuff. And you only cared about this vengeful spirit arcana. Now it's just like flat 35. So it's cheaper for those people. If you're still interested in everything, it is currently still cheaper. I doubt that they're going to add two more arcanas each time. If you want the side story stuff, it's another $15 each time which if you can earn more crown fall tokens 
is like seven dollars each time i guess which is not that bad comparing it because like sixty dollars for four of these right like i'm sure this story is interesting but there's no way it compares to like go buy elden ring or cyberpunk or like 10 games on sale on steam right like there's no way that compares even at 28 dollars, because we assume you save it with the coins still seems a bit expensive for what is ultimately some hats but i guess maybe it's not like if you ignore the fact that there's like story stuff three treasures and an item for seven bucks i mean that's not that crazy compared to like other pricings we have had i don't know what do you guys think about this what do i think of the invoker meta um i think he just does not beat most of the other meta mid heroes i haven't updated this tier list in a little bit but like how do i get rid of this there we go um let's just say like i'm pretty sure kunkka and dragonite for example do perfectly fine pretty sure leshrac primal beast i think a lot of these heroes do not care about invoker so i don't think he wins his lanes very easily unless you like ban out a lot of stuff and then i don't know from there i guess it's fine he just doesn't feel like a lot of the times you want someone active from the mid lane an invoker kind of can with like spirit vessel orchid stuff like that quas wex but that build is just not particularly strong right now compared to other heroes a lot of people are building kaya sanj in the mid lane he doesn't i mean he could it doesn't seem the greatest i don't know there's like items invoker wants to buy invoker buys his items he likes blinks agonims uh refreshers octarines bkbs like that kind of stuff he doesn't really want to be building like parasma's good and like sanj and yasha i mean i could be wrong i'm not the invoker player but i haven't seen any of it to get the final venge set you also need to complete all side quests oh the alternate style i guess i don't I don't hate that because I do feel like as long as it's optional, if you want it and you're willing to pay for it, right? Because I know, okay, so I know I said like $80 compared to like Elden Ring, stuff like that. I am so many hours into Dota, right? Like the cost value, and I'm not trying to like shill for like big company right here. But like, I think I'm like talking through this for my own mindset of like, it feels weird, this amount of upfront money. At the same time, even taking me out as a content creator, right? That, that there is like a monetary reason for me to be in this game now. When I was just a player, I have thousands and thousands of hours in this game. So actually compare that, I guess, to like a $60 game, which holds me for like at, let's say like a hundred hours would be pretty solid. I have not spent that much on Dota. Granted, I, I could. You could put so much money into Dota, but most people don't, right? So I guess it's like, like, I'm kind of okay with it in that sense. I do think the fact that there's not a gameplay patch feels weird, which I kind of think 7.35D was not supposed to come out. This came out how many days ago? About a month. I kind of feel like this patch was supposed to come with Crownfall. And then it would have felt better. I think. It would have felt like we're playing new Dota and we're getting new things. But currently this feels like we're playing the same game. And there's new stuff. But it just feels like... The off flavor is like, well, it's still the exact same game that I was playing yesterday and that we were all like, oh, can't wait for the patch. And there's no difference in what we are doing between old patch and new patch. I guess that's the part that feels weird. 
Have you seen the hidden unavailable weapons for Revenge on Skyrath yet? Oh, someone mentioned to go look and I, I forgot. Let's let's take a look. Um Venge. Where do I go? Load out and then like look at weapons. Add in unavailable. Crown fall. <gasps> I'm guessing this has something to do with the animation they use for fishing. And they it was easier to code. I can kind of see it. It's like here at the edge. I can kind of... I imagine the way they animated it was just using the models that exist and then like adding in like the fishing thing. And that was just the easiest way to do it. Uh, for me as a content creator, yeah, I could probably buy these things and then I, I, and I will, I will write it as a business expense. Not that my scale of spending is like that big a deal when it comes to taxes. I think I need like a real accountant to like work through that, but I'm not really at that point. Um, I do think they could have added like some small balance stuff at the same time, one month on the same patch doesn't feel that crazy to me i know as a player it's kind of like eh. but like even if we're at like 7.35 d if we think about the fact that like in 7.35 the different metas we went through right first like shiva's was busted um what else was busted there was a couple items like veil shiva's uh was this the solar crest patch Item removed. Yeah, this was the Solar Crest patch, right? Isn't that crazy? Like 7.35. I forgot about it. The very first one was insane Solar Pre Solar Crest patch and like the other stuff. Then B took that out. Um, and then here, this was like Mage Slayer patch. No, not yet. The next one was Mage Slayer patch, right? Like we did go through different iterations and even in 7.35D, with this being a month old, the pro teams are kind of shifting. That's why I'm kind of okay with patches staying for a bit. But since, like, everyone was hyped for, like, something huge, it feels weird that it's not changing. Or, like, that there's not a PvE game mode, and we can, like, do different stuff. I guess I keep wrapping back to it. it. It just feels like the weirdest part is that after our big update, we're doing the same thing. And the extras are all on the side. It's like a very cosmetic update. You can see it clearer on Sky. Oh yeah, I forgot to go to him. Oops. Tis my honor. Customize. Uh, weapons. Nice. There's room to grow on this. This is my shining ray of hope, guys. The model is in the game. So now, now we just got to add it to the actual Dota game. We're getting there. It's not a patch, it's just an event. That's, yeah, that's a better way to put it. Event update. I like the update, excited for act two. I think once I take out the fact, like once I stop thinking of like, I wish this was PVE, I will like it. I'm just still in that phase. I'm in the denial phase or like the, the anger. <laughs> Where am I at? Spring cleaning would be nice. Although lately they've done a lot of that stuff like shadow patched. They fix bugs without like strictly saying they're doing it. Feels super bad. Why care if nothing game wise has changed? I mean, that's fair. It, it definitely depends what you, you like out of the game. And I understand there's a, there's some players who like tons of change all the time to keep the game very fresh. And then some players who like more consistency. I think I'm at the stage where I'm up for like a big change. 
Because even so, although I was talking about the different patches and like the different heroes, ultimately for a very long time now, probably since, uh, I mean, even before 7.34 came out, which was 7.34 was like the giant map, right? Or was that 7.33? Oh, 7.33 was the giant map. Ever since this, and even before this, which I can't believe this is only a year old, actually. Uh, but even before this, laning has been so important. We've been in the 2-1-2 meta for a long time, and since the map got bigger, it just feels like you can only pick strong heroes in the laning stage at the highest level. And it's like, it's getting boring in that sense. Even as there's been like some smaller patches and things shift around, it still feels like you have to pick strong laners. And I think that's the part that's like kind of boring for me anyways. It's true. I am in the phase of where I would be, I am adapting to the boredom of like, I'm tired of picking the same strong supports. So I am going out of my way to either learn new strong supports I never played or I've been playing more core roles and like all right like I am going to make the game different for myself I do think this is a huge improvement to old cavern crawl I think cavern crawl was a lot griefier in like you have to play this hero which maybe you don't play the fact that you have to earn tokens and there's quite a few okay maybe I say that Slithering did not have that many. Looks like Slithering is, uh, you better play one of these six heroes. This is not Slithering. Get the hell out of here. Crawling at best. I'll accept Crawling. Morphling, I'm willing to have him in here. Get Weaver out of here. This is unplayable. He does not Slither. He's Skittering. He's Crawling. Yeah, yeah. Not Slithering. crawling brood mother is three crawling that's hilarious wait is there anywhere else like that lol I, I love that crystal maiden is double walking hero who's fast wind ranger who else has like doubles and triples three jump two jumping funny anyone else who's like three the fact that that is all brood mother has is hilarious to me too bad I'm a Broodmother player in the offlane. We're going to get a bunch of crawling tokens, and then for what? They had said the patch coming out, yada, yada, and next uh, people would have been way chiller. Yeah, I do think, like, this is the pros and cons of the way Valve likes to communicate, right? I uh, We can complain about it, but it is what it is. Like, they've done this for years. It's how they do it. They're like, they tend to be fairly vague. They've tried to be a little better about it, but it is usually still quite vague. And it gives them the room to say like, it's not done. We push it out. There's not a ton of, there's not expectations that they themselves have set. But like, I think in a situation like this, there's expectations we come up with as the community without a lot of information. And we're like, oh, I bet it's going to be clowns. I bet it's going to be this. It's ringmaster. You know, like we come up with the expectations and when it doesn't hit that, it can be dangerous. Like sometimes it's like, oh, I didn't expect this and it's super cool, great. But like when we're all thinking like, oh yeah, we're gonna get in there, it's gonna be a circus, we're gonna fight clowns, right? And then you don't get any of that, it's like, oh. Oh, it's different. I didn't punch any clowns in this game mode. I see, I see. Yeah, if they talked about it, there might be less of that. Hmm. Well. Whoa, who's that? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. DDTW, what's up? Sub smiley face. How are you liking smiley the update face. so far? Um, I'm in the middle of accepting it. <laughs> I, I think what is added is actually quite cool. And I think a big improvement to many old things they have done. I just, I personally, I won't speak for everyone. I wanted PVE game mode, like a Silt Breaker or Agnum's Lab. Or 
another big like gameplay patch. Like I wanted one of those and like maybe Ringmaster being added in. That's kind of more what I had my heart set on. I did get fishing added in. So that's a big that's a big plus. Pretty happy with that. But the rest, you know, like that's where I'm kind of like we didn't get those things I wanted, so I'm kind of sad even though this in itself is like kind of cool too. Do we know what the encounters are? Which encounters? Oh, like stuff like this? A little bit. It's like story stuff. Like uh, I can replay some of these. Um, it's just like stuff like this, which is cool, you know? It's like a cool change. This little like waka 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 noise. I like to believe that you willed fishing into the game. I mean, I'll take credit for it. <laughs> do we have proof is there recorded proof of anyone else who's like desperately wanted fishing i'm very happy with this okay i i am quite happy that fishing has made it into dota in some regard i don't even know what this fishing mini game looks like yet but the fact that it's here is like you know what okay that that helps me end on a positive note the fact that fishing is now in Dota, it can only get better. Dota can only continue to improve as a game now. Now that fishing is in here, it has everything it needs to be to be the greatest game in the world ever, forever. <laughs> yeah, the fact that 7.35 was only December is kind of like also crazy. Hmm. All right. I think where I'm at, It's probably better to make a video tonight, but I'm not going to because I want my goal is tomorrow we make it to the candy chest thing, candy works caravan and the fishing. I need these two things to fully understand everything they have added in and we'll get to experience more story stuff as we go. I think I'm going to wait for that. And then we'll make a video on like what we think the worth of this thing is. Um, maybe act two, we get a gameplay patch. I mean, there probably will be a gameplay patch, like regardless of Crownfall, we're at one month into 7.35D. So there probably will be some kind of gameplay change coming up. Uh, it may not line up with act two or not, but I mean, it will happen. No, I'm not going to queue. We already streamed. We were streaming earlier. I didn't even eat yet. I have not eaten in like uh, quite a while. Um, I started streaming. I ate a small lunch, streamed, did a coaching, cut that coaching off because the, the patch came out. And then, which I was, guys, funny enough, I was worried the patch was going to be like, uh, it's going to invalidate all the coaching, all the videos we did. No changes whatsoever. It's totally fine. Do the same shit I've been telling you to do for like four months now. It's all good. Um, and then I immediately got back on for this. So I'm really tired and I'm only going to grief my games. We're not even going to win tokens. So I'm going to stop for today. Let's come in tomorrow. We're going to win. I don't know how many we need to win, but we're just going to have to. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Potentially seven wins. Need some down here too. Hmm. Could be tough. Maybe we'll pick up more tokens along the way or something. Uh, but I think we get one random token when we lose too. So, you know, maybe there's hope. No, you get three tokens for the win and then like a random one for losses, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, wait, can we make it there? Maybe we do need to play a couple of games tonight. All right, we'll do one more.
We'll do one more game today. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I gotta figure out who I gotta play. We gotta figure out... Uh... I need what? I need melee and durable. There's only a couple heroes who have both, but I'm not that interested in playing any of these in particular. So let's just get one at a time. We'll work it out who. We'll do one game and then we'll stop. I should relax. I'll do one. I'm working now. Proof the patch is encouraging people to play more. Maybe, maybe. Okay, who can we play? We'll do another support game, I think. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to throw all the roles in there. No, I don't want to be Ogre. Hmm. Actually, not a bunch of these are not, like, a lot of these are not great. We could maybe do another Marcy game. I'm not very good at Abaddon. We could maybe play Marcy. We were playing her the last time we played, so we're a little warmed up on it. It could be a Marcy 4 game. If we're 5... I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. We don't have to do it this particular game, right? Because we can stockpile tokens and we can get it for the future anyways. We could do maybe Marcy or Monkey King. And then for five, ah, we could try five Marcy. Five Abaddon would fit, but I'm not good at it. The token drops been worked out for normal and turbo games. Uh, I think someone here said they won a turbo game and got two. I'm not sure. Does anyone who knows? Does anyone? I have not tried a turbo game. What are the heroes for the tokens we want? Right now we're looking for durable and melee. So this this thing lets us know like what we can play to earn at least one of the tokens we need. Ah, interesting. Two for a win and zero for a loss. Okay, that's a cool way to do it, because otherwise turbo would have been the best way to grind it out, right? Because let's say you have about a 50% win rate, then on average you would have been doing like uh, 1.5 tokens per game. Wait, isn't that the same? Hold on, am I dumb? What did I just say? 1.5 tokens per game? No, no, yeah, yeah. And then if you play like two turbo games in that time, you get like three tokens. The average Dota game would get you about two tokens on average, which over the course of like, I literally can't select this. Who put this here? Ten seconds to go. <laughs> Should we try Marcy five? Five seconds. I'm kind of into it. Guessing about Underlord. Actually, I don't need to have the Observer. Let's do this. Do we have any feelings about Underlord? Positive feelings, negative feelings? I'm going to turn on my fan. Uh, no one's taking a thing, so maybe I'm going to take it. Damn, Grandmaster. He can play his Grandmaster Underlord any day he wants. Zeus mid...
And if our spirit breaker doesn't want it, I guess I'm taking it. I'm probably like... I'll get a second century. We'll buy a tango afterwards. With the uh, starting gold. And then maybe a mango, but I kind of think the stick should be enough. At the same time, it may not be because of how much mana we need. Like, we have to have the combo for it to work. Um, Everybody gets set. Maybe something like this. What's happening here? We got people muted, just the Beastmaster. Ooh, doubling the rank. We don't have any yet, do we? Oh, we do. Uh, I'm not feeling... Oh, I guess I'm feeling it. <laughs> Guys, I meant to just predict. All right, well, here we go. We're double down on our Marcy 5. Whatever, I don't care about MMR. Who gives a shit? Mm, kind of a to call to go in like that <laughs> for me. Oh, here's the predict, guys. Let's predict. We're already committed to the double down, so I mean, like, I hope we get something. We should get the top two runes. What just happened? Ooh, Hef, now is not the time. You cannot sit on this keyboard right now. Ah, oh, my courier, I wasn't paying attention. At least it was just a mango. He body blocked ours and then used a sentry to unblock his. I'm not in a rush right now, but we should be aware of it to get it later. Should I get Q? I feel like we could maybe get kills if I take Q. I'd be super careful. Ah, I meant to block this again. All right, he got a double kill at least. Okay, maybe we can use this hard camp before he's back. Making mistakes is the path to wisdom. feel a little laggy. I have 50 FPS, excuse me. Uh, do we need to pull? No, I just need to make sure he does not pull. Can you talk about London farming in Dota so it's added in the next patch? Talk about what? What 
about wanting farming. <laughs> we had mango trees. We could actually, if we bring that back. Farming. Making mistakes is the path to wisdom. <laughs> Neutrals. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna get a second point in this. I think my razor's bopping. Cause I'm just here dying. <laughs> Oops. I got salved. Wow. There's a lion on me. Making mistakes is the path to wisdom. Should I go for six minute rune? I think he's okay. The lane is pushing, but I mean, he's pretty ahead. So I'm just gonna, uh, Lotuses. Gonna make sure we get the rune here for this guy. Oops. <laughs> Did not mean to uh, tip the Zeus, but start some mental warfare apparently. Seven minute runes. EXP rune. See him's coming for it. Yo, that double damage rune we got him earlier just got us a CM assist. Yo, the performance of the game is actually so garbage now, though. What is this? What is my CS? I mean, my FPS. What are you doing over there? I hear one of you causing some problems. What? Okay, I blame, my, I blame the performance from that. That was not me. I would not have missed that. I can't believe I got that actually. I'm so good. Have you heard of a wand? <laughs> I 
I was thinking about Tranquil Boots for that very reason that we just saw, but I'm pretty sure I still want, like, the Phase Boots, I think. Oh, did he charge the wrong thing? Hmm. So Monkey King's having a good time. Razor's having a good time. I don't know if we can turn the bottom lane if we go, is the thing. Hmm. King Doe bottom. Ah, oh, guys, I screwed that up pretty badly, I feel like. Well, I mean, I guess we got unlucky with the, uh, what's it called, you could say. But I feel like I could have... Oh, he just jumped in. Surely he's dead, right? Oh, Monkey King's still here, actually. Maybe not. But I feel like if I had gone sooner, I could have gotten Monkey King or Crystal Maiden. I was trying to, like, look beyond, and I was, like, a little too greedy. I need a bottle refill question mark. Sad. Turn around, bye. Mm. So she, in the end, she did see that I placed the ward, but hopefully she doesn't know exactly where. Okay, they don't have vision here. Oh my god. Kinda want a glimmer cape. He's a little weird as a position five though. Build's getting weird, but as position 5 Marcy, I'm going to prioritize the Glimmer. I think it's a really good Glimmer game, and I don't know who else will get it. That's a really good follow-up kill. I forgot Underlord could do that. Thought I forgot he could just bring us over. 
Uh, I think it's a little deep. The other fellas lost the mid tower. Real nice. Is there any in this? Not yet. Fourteen minute runes. You want to try to get Monkey King? throw him back i think we're just getting out right just get out this is a good opportunity to learn this is a good opportunity to learn oh i can't believe i lived guys Turns out I was worried about Marcy 5 for nothing, guys. We're doing great. Lol. Hundred, hundred twenty instead of one forty, one fifty. I like forty instead of like one twenty. <laughs> what the heck? I tried like the disable animations thing. If you like Google it online. Making mistakes is the path to win. I'll check it out. Thanks. That's yeah. true. There's it probably some. Happens like when there's a new intro. Yeah, he's right. Usually that stuff... Actually, usually it doesn't affect Mikey's stuff that much, but I should check that out. Since, uh, clearly it's affecting us this time. Oops. Oh, I didn't get it off fast enough. You wanna go on a sleigh ride? Hell yeah. It's even happening up here. Now I can ward up here. Hell yeah. Something bad's happened to the radiance. Name was rough, brother. Don't uh, add me. Not a fairy fire. Move on. 
What were you doing up there, Crystal Maiden? You doing any uh, warding of sorts? Huh? I guess not. Uh, what else can we get? BKB, Lotus, something like that. something maybe here but guess not Sips if you want them. Mikey King's here, careful. Sometimes you just go 06 in lane and that's life. Opportunity to learn. Making mistakes is the path to wisdom. Who does more damage right now? I think it's actually SF. Yeah, yeah. This is Underlord. This is your Marcy I'm dead speaking. On the inside, that's how you know it's me. No, nah, mine doesn't work either. Me being Marcy. Zero sick and get right back up, you know, keep playing. I don't even know what I build, guys. Should I build the Deso for laughs? What would be the most meme Marcy 5 thing we can add here? How many people do you know that can go zero six and uh, not give up hope? How many people do you guys know can play with 40 FPS? <laughs> can such a thing be done? Believe it or not, it can. I gotta say, this is a really value seed to Serenity pick up. A great choice, Zach. Fantastic. We've gotten a ton of value out of it. I bet my healing's quite high for the game, considering it's like a 21 minute game. This is something I was a little worried about playing more, guys, is that tons of people are here doing stuff, and I'm worried that it's all going to be, like, griefy, you know? Which, I mean, so far it kind of has been, just not on our side. You guys think Pipe is good or no? Depends on the game. Yeah, but, like... Would you rather have a glimmer or a pipe? You know, you know what I mean. Uh, like this godforsaken item. It's pretty expensive. It could, it could, that could be a glimmer cake. You know what I mean? Horcano los dos. Did I already say GG. No. We didn't even spend our money in the end. All right. Quick win, guys. We were worried about being tired, about playing on more. Nice and easy. We got our melee. Candy work re-rolls. Um, I don't even know what Monkey King did that was like so bad. Uh, my team seemed nice. I I'll commend them. I'm down for it. Um, I mean, he was pretty rich, it looks like. He was killing the Underlord a bunch in the lane. And then, I don't know, I guess he died back to back a couple times, which uh, is definitely not great, but that was kind of us ganking and following a little bit, I feel like. But I don't know, whatever. Like, we 
we ganked bottom, killed him. He went top for an aggressive play. Maybe forgot about the fact that Underlord could bring both of us back in, which I forgot about. So then we had four people top, which just killed him again. So I don't really... I didn't watch. I don't feel like it's account buying. The guy probably had a bad game. This is the thing. People just like throw it out. I don't know. Like, could an account buyer actually go this high in the laning stage? I don't think so. Like, I think an account buyer will show very quickly when they can't CS and can't get kills. But when you go from like this to like this and it's like terrible off back to back deaths, that's just bad play. Like, you made mistakes or something. But account buying like gets you way down here. I think. I don't think you ever like leave the lane ahead. Unless you're account buying within like 500, maybe 1,000 MMR and you're given an easy lane. Which I guess Monkey King CM into Underlord is an easy lane. But. Uh, does anyone know what the command is to cancel the animations? I'll just look it up later. Because uh, our FPS was hot garbage in that did we i don't even remember oh wait the monkey king got the tips or we got the tips Only played a handful of games since they made the map huge. If you played Dota on the smaller map, it is very weird. Having played now for like a year on it, I'm super used to it. It like, my memory is so short, guys. As soon as a patch comes out, it's so disorienting for the first few days. Like, I'll never get used to this tree being here. It's like, there's no stairs here now, right? It's like, it's wild. And then like, after a week, I'm like, what was the old map even? Like, what was here before? How did we play on such a tiny map in the past? I don't know. I just like, can't remember it whatsoever. Has it been that long? Yeah, we were looking at the patches. Uh, so 7.33 was New Frontiers, and that came uh, just about one year ago in two days. 4-20-2023. So. Yeah, now could be a good time to, to hop in. Everyone's playing like weird heroes to get the stuff, which I think is probably not that necessary. I think you can still pick pretty reasonable stuff and earn your tokens you may not like make your progress instantly but you take some time you win the games because that's most important right you get three tokens per win win your games and then go back later you finally did it you might already have the tokens you need for like bop 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 i kind of wish they showed it a little bit like show me show me like one other branch ahead or something like that so i kind of know like okay, I, I don't want to play like durable melee here, but here needs a winged hero, right? So I can like do that. That way there's a little more control, but whatever. It looks like you can uh, trade tokens here and that's pretty early on in this journey. So it's probably whatever. Have I tried DP support in the past when it was more popular? It's not very popular right now, but you can do it if you want. Um, I think it catches a lot of people in pubs off guard. It's one of those things that it's, bad in the fact that I got nerfed and at the highest level it doesn't do the same stuff when everyone knows what's going on but people then forget like what is this DP support hero surely I can just walk at it right and then it's like oh spirit siphon still pretty good and uh in pubs I think it's like it's fine old Matt was fun for Tran hoodwink that's true I still think it's like not bad for them though and I like it as a whole there's still changes I want, but... Compasaurus, thank you. Thank you for sharing that command. I'll uh, do that later. Okay, guys. I'm going to be back tomorrow. We're going to grind out to the, uh, the candy caravan and hopefully the fishing. And then I'll make a video after that. Uh, but I was doing a ton of streaming earlier. So I'm pretty tired. And I'm glad we got the fast win there. Because... Uh, yeah, I got to sort out the uh, the FPS and all that before tomorrow's stream. But I'll be back. Uh, I got to get my hair cut in the morning. So I guess after that, uh, 
I'll be here with the fresh haircut. <laughs> Let's go raid Ricky. I'll be casting with him on Monday, by the way, guys, for uh, ESL Birmingham. We'll be doing some group stages Monday, Tuesday. So uh, keep an eye out for us uh, goofing off there. But otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow for some uh, some Dota. Druid Bear double meme hammer support when? That's like, that's so much money to get to that point. It can't be worth it at, at all.